We have a question from Jason. I appreciate this kind of thing. Hi, Dan. About a month ago, you gave me some ideas on how, as an older guy, I could warm up faster, and I'd like to share my results. I love the feedback, Jason. Thank you. You mentioned moving the workout from 5 a.m. to approximately 3 p.m. when the body is naturally in a warmer state. I did this for one week, and it was a difficult move for me for two reasons. While my body seemed to move easier, I didn't have the same energy levels as a morning workout, and it felt like it took so long to get to, I was anxious. I think that after many years, uh, my body is just accustomed to early morning sessions. I had to move my training back to the morning. Well, that's just fine. I mean, but at, It was interesting, and, and I hope the listeners are paying attention, because you didn't say that changing times was a bad thing. It's just that your habits made it not so it didn't not, didn't work so i have the same issue now i know that if i'm going to throw a better time as as i speak right now and yet i roll out uh, early in the morning five or six a.m i train at 9 30 and yeah the workouts aren't perfect but boy and then i break uh, then i eat after that breaking my fast and it's been great for my body composition great for my work great for my brain pan but not great to throw elite distances so, so the question, so your your feedback is excellent, and it'll it'll keep me in mind about some other things. Number two, he says, wearing a hoodie and sweatpants. This seemed to work well, and such an obvious solution. This is a keeper. I haven't gone near a sauna suit. Hopefully, I don't have to. I we have one in the house if you ever really need one, and uh, I can barely walk around the block without going. Are you kidding me? But isn't that simple? Isn't that a simple answer? Number three, changing the order of workouts. I did this for a few weeks when I realized maybe I was doing too much during the one workout. So I changed things up while focusing on squats one day, deadlifts another, etc., etc. More importantly, I also changed my warm-up to include either one of your barbell complexes, good, or some walking uh, medicine ball toss. Uh, so some walking followed by 10 sets of 10 kettlebell swings, and goblet squats, then band pull aparts, one arm medicine ball toss, ab wheel, and a loaded carry. I have 10 to choose from. Moving the loaded carry to the end of the warm up was a great move because it really got my body ready to go. Oh, that's really interesting. Total time hasn't changed at all, and it still falls between 45 minutes and 60 minutes. This move has been a game changer for me and a definite keeper. Um, if you look up in T Nation, you'll find an article I wrote called The Warm Up is the Workout. Uh, it's funny, you, you came into the same th pattern of thoughts that I did. Um, I had some ideas from Intervention and your podcast to incorporate into my daily routine. Thank you for providing a ton of valuable information, including all the recent workshops on YouTube. Well, it's, it's a delight, and I got to thank you for feedback. The feedback really helps me as a coach. Um, I, I got some real nice insights from your feedback. And by the way, I never disagree with feedback. I always use it to open up another window, another door. Uh, sometimes if, my, if I tell you you should try something that doesn't work, the reason it doesn't work is just as important as it flat out didn't work. So thank you. We have a question.